Hey everybody, Chad here. In this video, we're going to talk about Thailand, but we're going to talk about a little bit more specifics into what you need to do if, if you're going to vacation in Thailand. This is the must do if you're going to vacation in Thailand for a couple weeks, a week, a couple weeks, or you're going to get a tourist visa, you're going to be there for a few months, or even if you're going there to check it out to even retire. This is a must do that will help you with all the police tickets that once you win the motorbike, okay, you're going to start getting tickets and you're going to, you're going to start arguing with the Thai police like, why, 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 why? You know, people lied to me. <laughs> so this is a must do what you're going to need to do and need to get to stop the police tickets. Now let's get rocking and rolling because I'm going to dive right into this. And one of the things what, what people don't understand is that once you go to Thailand, especially if you go on a one week, two week vacation, people start thinking, well, I'm going to walk all over. Uh, it's easy to take a taxi or a motorbike taxi. And yes, that is very true. It's very easy to take a taxi or a motorbike taxi. They're kind of all over. Even if you're walking, the, the drivers will pull up beside you and say, hey, you need a lift, stuff like that. So it's very easy, but it can get very pricey. And it's a little bit more pricey than you think it is. So once people figure out that it's kind of pricey to do this, they start leaning towards riding a motorbike. Now it's very easy to rent a motorbike. This now this video is not about renting a motorbike. So lo, lo and behold, let me just get through this, and I'll, I'll tell you what you need. But it's very easy to rent a motorbike. All you need is your passport to rent a motorbike, and they rent one for to you. Now, when I lived in Thailand, I lived in uh, Phuket, Patong, Thailand, for one year. Uh, I asked all types of questions. I said, "No, can I legally rent a motorbike here? Do I need any type of special driver's license?" Everybody told me no. Okay, even when I bought my motorbike, because I actually bought one, they told me the same thing. You know, all you need is your passport. All you need is your country's driver's license, and that's it. Okay, now that information is actually false. <laughs> okay, um, yes, you can rent a motorbike with your passport. You can buy a motorbike. Okay, you don't need to show any proof of insurance. You don't need to show that you're a resident of Thailand. Uh, you do need a, a certificate of residence uh, of Thailand. I'll take that back to actually buy a motorbike. You have to go to Thai, Thai immigration to get a, a, a what's called a, a certificate of residence. So you have to have that, but you don't need to have any type of identification. You don't need to have a Thai. They won't ask for your Thai license. They won't ask for your country's license. They'll just ask for your passport. Um, but that being said, when you rent, it's super easy to rent. They'll rent to you. But they're kind of lying to you in a way of, well, you just need your driver's license. That is kind of a big lie, okay? Because you'll find out, like once you go to Thailand, there's checkpoints all over the place, especially if you go, go to these tourist areas like Batong, Pattaya, Wai Hin, you know, Chiang Mai. Uh, especially you, if you look like a Farang, what I mean by you look like a foreigner, you're not Thai, you know, you're gonna get pulled over. You know, you might get pulled over daily, you might get pulled over every couple of days, but eventually you're going to get pulled over or you're going to come up to a checkpoint and they're going to flag you to pull over. So a couple of things they look for, okay? One is you wearing your helmet, okay? So even if you see Thai locals not wearing a, a motorcycle helmet, you have to wear a, a helmet, <laughs> okay? One is for your safety, but that's a big that's a big area where the police give tickets. You know, they they see Parang not wearing a helmet, they pull you over and it's 500 baht. You know, it's it's that's how it is. Now, in Thailand, they don't write you a ticket and give to you. You pay on the spot. <laughs> if you say you don't have money, they drive you to an ATM. <laughs> that's how they do it in Thailand. They don't trust you. They they're too smart for that stuff. That they know you're not going to go pay at the police department. You're just going to continue on with your vacation and you know, fly back to your country. But what do you need, okay, in order to, 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 to avoid all these tickets? Because the second thing they look for is your actual license. And I kind of learned this the hard way because I don't have my wallet up here. But, you know, I was driving around and, you know, I, I get pulled over, get a checkpoint, get pulled over. I have my helmet on, so they can't give me a ticket for my helmet. So then they ask me for ID. You know, I didn't have my passport on me because I don't, I didn't carry it on me. I always left it locked in a safe in my room. So then what I did was, you know, I would hand in my driver's license. So they look at it. They can't really read it because, you know, it's, it's in English. So some of them can read English. Some of them can't because it's Thailand. So, you know, it's, you know, it's the, you know, they read Thai, speak Thai. Not everybody can speak and read English. So 
So they're basically waving it saying no good, no good, no good. Then they want another 500 baht. Sometimes it's a thousand baht uh, because I don't have a Thai license. So they show me what a Thai license looks like. You know, you need this document and you know, you have to go get one. So sometimes they'll give you a warning if you, you're really nice and sweet that you know, you're new, you didn't know. Uh, but eventually they're just going to start giving you tickets because they're going to know, they're going to recognize you, so forth and so forth. So you're going to get tickets every day. Now, how do you get around this having a Thai license? Because when you're on vacation, I get it. When you're on vacation, you don't live in Thailand. You're not planning to live in Thailand. You're only there for a week or two, or maybe you're there for a month. So you don't want to take you don't take you, you don't want to take up two days of your time to to go get a Thai license. And some and sometimes it takes up to two days because depending upon how busy immigration the, the Thai immigration office is, it might take you one day just to go to immigration and get your a certificate of residence. Once you get your certificate of residence, then you have to take that to their kind of, now I'm from the United States, from to their kind of like a Thai DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles in Thailand, and that's where you would stay basically the whole day to watch videos and take tests and take, and they, they you would have to take a test on your motorbike, they want to see you drive it and stuff like that, but that's like a whole day out of your time. So at least one whole day out of your time, if not two, depending upon how busy Thai immigration is. <laughs> Uh, so what kind of made me uh, do this video is because I was in this Facebook group and it was a Thailand Facebook group and you know I was helping people out because I lived in Thailand helping people out to travel and stuff like that and this conversation came up in Facebook so I told everyone that hey you need to get an international license to avoid this and so many people comment commented back that I don't know what I'm talking about you know you can rent a motorbike with your passport and I would say I'm not talking about renting a motorbike I'm talking about when you get pulled over at a checkpoint, if they pull you over, they're going to give you tickets because you don't have a Thai license or you don't have an international license. And so many people uh, debated with me. They said, there's no such thing as an international license. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny because I have one. <laughs> so, so, but anyway, that's what you need, my friends. And it's so simple, okay, even if you go for a week vacation, two week vacation, or you're planning on moving there, get an international license. Now I'm gonna show you how to get it really, really quick. It's super simple if you're from the United States. Now I'm not from Europe, I'm not from the UK or any other country, so I can't help you in that regards, but I am from the United States. So this is how you would get an international license in the United States. So I'm gonna show you really quick. This, this is what I did. I flipped over to Google. And if you go to Google, this the screen right here, if you just type in international license, a whole list of things, a whole list of companies pop up how to get an international license. And this was kind of a kind of funny to me because when I was in the Facebook group again, they said there's no such thing as an international license. So maybe in their country, but but in the United States, there's an international license. So what I did is I went to AAA. So in the United States, everybody knows triple a okay so triple a it's cheap and it's quick okay so i'll show you this is my international license this this looks identical to the thai license okay and i'll go through this with you but i'll show you really quickly how to how to do it all you need is you you search up triple a you go to a branch but before you go to the branch you're going to need a passport photo now this is a bad passport photo of me because I got this in Thailand. So you're gonna have to go to like a CVS or somewhere, Walgreens or somewhere that they do passport photos. Go get, you only need one by the way, but I think they come in two. So go get two passport photos. So you take your two passport photos and your driver's license to triple A. You walk in triple A and you say, hey, I'm traveling to Thailand. I need an international license. Then they, they say, okay. So they print out the paperwork the paper, it's only one page. It's it's just it's just your basic information. Uh, you know, it's just your basic information, home address, whatever, phone number, email, uh, when you're traveling, because they date it on your date of arrival to Thailand. It's good for one year. So your international license is good for one year. And on top of that, it's cheap. It's only 20 bucks. <laughs> so, so between, I mean, the pictures were the same price as the international license. My pictures, to get a passport photo is about 20 bucks now in the United States. So it costs 40 bucks altogether to get my pictures and get my international license. So now this bad boy, the international license, what I do like about it, it does have my date of travel, 
the date when I enter Thailand and it's good from this date so you know I'm not traveling to Thailand for another three or four months so I got this early but what I like about it I wouldn't have got it early because it, it goes in effect the day I arrive in Thailand and it's good for one year from that date okay now everything's in English but what I love is when you flip through the pages there, there's a page in Thai okay so that way we hand this type at least the type at least can read it because it, it's in Thai okay it's not all in English even though it looks identical you know they want you, you want to make sure they can read it but you flip here to the back you know this is my pass this is my passport photo it's stamped it has my name and everything on it for my international license so this bad boy right here you need 100% like if you it, you're not going to get around it. Um, either you're going to pay tickets, okay, and you're only going to be able to talk yourself out of, you know, once or twice. After that, they're going to they're going to want you to pay because they know they know that you know at this point. So you're either going to pay tickets, or if you're in Thailand, you don't want to take up one or two days of your vacation to go get a Thai license or an international license in Thailand. You're not going to get it. It's not called an international license in Thailand. It's really your Thai license. But you're not going to take up two days of your time off your vacation to to get a Thai license to avoid tickets. You're just going to pay the tickets or you're going to take taxis all over the place. I mean, this is really a lifesaver just on your vacation. Do it before you go. It's simple, easy. I think in triple A, I think I was only in triple A for like 10 or 15 minutes. And that's really because I was talking too much. And I was talking, asking questions and seeing what they were doing and stuff like that. But the paperwork is really simple. You get it that day, so it doesn't come in the mail or anything. So you get it that day, and you just put it in your travel, put it in your travel stuff. Then when you go to Thailand, then make sure you carry this with you, like you would your driver's license in the United States. So make sure this is with you when you're driving your motorbike and so forth. So once you have this, they can't give you no more tickets. So they can't make an excuse that you don't have the right license. So hopefully this video helped. I kind of was rambling, talking really fast, but I wanted to try to get through it as fast as possible. But anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know how you liked it. If you have any questions about Thailand, you can ask below and either I can comment back or I can make a video on it if I feel like it's gonna help everybody. Other than that, my friends, take care, blessings to you, and I'll see you in the next video.